Hey guys, I hope you're all well, whether you're watching uh, this morning or whether it's this afternoon. I'm Nick from the Body Transformation Centre and today I just wanted to film a quick video <clears throat> on uh, some tools that you, you can utilise to help with your health and fitness. Uh, some of you may have heard of them, some of you may not, um, but I want to show you how you can utilise them. Uh, in your daily life and how to you can utilize them to make you lose weight or to help you with you losing weight so <clears throat> excuse me coughing a little bit I'm a bit croaky at the moment with a, a chesty cough so um, a lot of people are talking about lots of different fitness apps lots of different health apps and um, you can utilize to with your weight loss goals it depends on what your goals are and um, uh, what app you're using but um, one that I like to use with my clients quite often is one called My Fitness Pal, as you can see on my screen at the moment. Now, <clears throat> my My Fitness Pal is a free application. You can also download it on your uh, phone, which it looks a little bit like looks a little bit like this. If you can see that, okay. And um, it's, you can also log it online and use it in a web browser like you normally would. <clears throat> so, what the, well, more to the point is the reason why I like MyFitnessPal is A, it's free. We always like free stuff. Um, but B, it also gives you some form of idea of where your calorie levels are. Now, for the majority of people that sit down with me, I'll sit and talk through them at a daily meal uh, structure, how their how their days are structured. And quite often, I'll say, do you know how many calories that is? And they'll say, no, I don't know. Well, when you actually look and work it out and calculate it all, we could probably take a guess and probably be, you know, within a couple hundred calories. But the better way to do it is actually using a tool that can auto calculate for you now it will give you some form of idea of exactly where you're at with your current calorie level and <clears throat> excuse me and what it will do is it will give you some idea of what you need to focus on now if you're gaining weight and you're saying i don't eat enough i don't eat enough to be gaining weight well i'm sorry you're lying to yourself but there is obviously something else going on there um, now, whether you're forgetting about what food you're eating, uh, may be a problem, or it may be that you're eating food, more of the foods uh, in quantity than you actually realise. You know, portion control comes into a lot of, uh, for, it's a problem for a lot of people, but I'll save that video for another day. So, <clears throat> when it comes to uh, tracking calories, most people go, oh, I don't want to do that, it's really time consuming. No, it's not. There's a really cool thing inside of My Fitness Pal, right? And I'll see if I can show it you now. If you actually go into into My Fitness Pal itself, um, I'm going to use the web browser just to show you for for this uh, video. And you can actually go in and track your food. You can track your settings. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let me just get this up on screen. So you can actually go in and create a database of food. So you can go into my food and you can uh, add a food. It could be a recipe, uh, sorry, a food that's not already in there. But also in the my meals section, if you eat, let's say you eat the same meal three times a week, you can store the exact portions or sizes already in there. So when you come to log in it, you can do a quick add. Now, you know, the same with the recipes. You can add all the individual ingredients to create a recipe and hey presto, you've got a, a pre-done recipe in there. Now, what my point is with this is, it may take a little bit of time just simply adding the foods on there uh, or the recipes. It may take a little bit of time in the first scenario, maybe, you know, maybe an hour or so. But then I can actually log my food uh, in within sort of 10 minutes within one day. Right, you can easily barcode scan with the app. There's a brilliant barcode scanner, and you can just simply get the piece of food, scan the food, 
and it gives the reading out of whatever the serving size is uh, and you just input in how much of that you ate. Dead simple. I don't know how hard that can be, right? My, my point being is that if you don't really know how many calories you're eating in a day, how are you ever going to be able to lose weight if you're not knowing what calories are going in, what calories are going out, right? And yes, it's not 100% accurate, but what it will do is actually help you become mentally aware of what's going in your basket. Are you eating uh, a thousand calorie meal in the evening and maybe you're only eating two 500 calories meals in the daytime? Maybe you're consuming three quarters of your calories first thing in the morning. Maybe and you're getting cravings at night, which is why you're eating sweets or biscuits or chocolate or a fizzy drink or some wine or some beer, whatever it might be. Now, you just need to be aware yourself of what you're doing uh, to yourself and when you're doing it and the triggers that cause it. I, I've personally found through my own experience and through other clients' experiences that once they become aware of A, a value of how many calories a particular food has in it, um, and B, how many calories they're consuming over the day, how their days are constructed, it often gives them a better idea with their calories and then they tend to be um, inadvertently react uh, to that and all of a sudden their diets start to alter and become better and low, uh, fractionally lower in the calories and then we start seeing the weight falling off. So what, I'm, what are, my thing is for you to now is I would go off, download my fitness pal if you're not already doing it. Start today, start, um, if, you're, if you're getting a pack of sandwiches from work or uh, Chris from the tuck shop or maybe you are buying a ready meal from Tesco's tonight. Just scan the, the barcode on it, it will input your calories. Okay, you can take a rough guess. Now don't overcomplicate it. I've had people in the past where they've gone and gone down the route of, um, I bought a lettuce, I bought the lettuce from Tesco's, um, but it's only showing me Lidl's lettuce, so I didn't want to add it. Uh, hang on a minute, don't be silly here. All right, let's face facts. A lettuce is a flipping lettuce. It doesn't matter whether it's come from Tesco's or it's come from Asda. There's not going to be a great difference in the calories there. However, if you're buying a, um, let's say, beef burger from Tesco's finest range or a beef burger from, let's say, Iceland's own value range, then yes, there could be a big difference, right? So don't try and do that. But most of the foods in there are, are on there. And... Um, yeah, they might not all be 100% perfect. And yes, there is a bit of fluctuation, maybe a you know a 10% allowance of fluctuation on the, the errors within my fitness file because nothing's perfect. But what it will do, like I say, is give you some awareness. Something that I did a while back, I couldn't, uh, you know, I'm very in tune with it. I'm a very numbers orientated kind of person. I like to see my numbers. Calorie counting for me works very well. Calorie counting for others doesn't. Okay, it all depends on you. But initially, I think it's always good to do the example and test ride it with yourself and just see what you're actually eating because something that happened to me, even you know, only a year and a half ago, I couldn't work out why my weight was going up, yet I seemed to be not eating as much. And you know what? I'd stopped tracking at that point. I started adding in the tracking and guess what? Surprise, surprise, I was eating five or 600 calories too much a day because I was just letting things flow into my diet that probably shouldn't have really been there and things that I weren't always aware about. So um, go off, I want you to go and test this today and then if you can screenshot your, uh, screenshot me to show me that you've used my fitness pal or if you're already using it, screenshot it and show me because I think, to be honest with you, it'll be a great uh, experience for you. Um, and again, something I do with my clients in the client group, we actually utilize this and um, I can actually monitor from my end how many calories you're having because I can log into your diaries. So it's a great way for being accountable. Okay, so I just wanted to leave that with you for today. Uh, food for thought, sorry for the pun, food for thought. If you're not using my fitness pal, give it a go. Don't just automatically dismiss it. Alternatively, get yourself an old fashioned pen and paper and write down your foods each day. It's as simple as that. You don't need to be 100% anal with, you know, weighing out 
you know, did you have 50 nuts or 49 nuts? Don't be daft. Um, just know, you know, get an idea of your portions, get to learn your portion sizes, uh, and then you'll be able to start inputting them into MyFitnessPal. Anyway, take care, people. See you soon. And remember, if you're not already in the Train With Nick group, come join us on Facebook. Uh, search Train With Nick group. Follow my YouTube channel, which is the Body Transformation Center. And um, keep an eye out because we're always helping people do better and feel better.